Hi, I'm Poppy Delavine, and today I'm with Harper's Bazaar UK to talk about what is in my beauty bag. The best piece of beauty advice I've ever received well, it's probably the beauty comes from within. <laughs> okay, that sounds really corny. Um, but I think that's true. Um, I think beauty is in a smile more than anything else. My grandmother over the years has always given me incredible beauty advice. One tip was Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream, putting that on your eyelashes at night and the next day they're all big and fluttery, very Twiggy-esque. As long as I can remember, she's always used Eve Lom Cleansing Balm. So whenever I smell Evelyn, I think of her and I now use it myself. I am very lucky enough to be in the middle of two sisters that love beauty just as much as I do. When it comes to my little sister, Cara, she always has the sort of latest lotions and potions. They're usually quite organic and natural. And then when it comes to my big sister, Chloe, she has got a nail polish addiction and has more nail polishes than God. And whenever I go to her house, still to this day, I steal one. News to you, Chloe. Sorry. <laughs> and now for what's in my beauty bag. Um, a few little bits and bobs in here. Starting with my favorite cleanser by Augustina's Beta, and it's their cleansing gel. Um, it's light and frothy, and I've been using it for a few months now, and I, I love it. There's one product I love called Cordelie. It's like a facial mist that has a little bit of oil in it that gives you a beautiful glow. But I also love Charlotte Tilbury's Film Star Bronze and Glow. Just use um, the bronzer on your cheeks and then the highlighter just a little bit higher, a little bit on your nose, also on your eyelids. I love those products. For Riviera, because I was filming outdoors quite a lot, we used Heliocare SPF 50 uh, to protect those freckles and then the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Bronze and Glow. Also, we did a little trick which I fell completely in love with, which was brown eyeliner pencil added on freckles. That's such a cheat, I can't believe I'm giving that away. But that would always give the hint that you'd been in the sun all day when you got SPF 50 on. My favorite eye cream in the whole world, this is a Black Rose Eye Cream by Sisley. And it's, you know, a sort of contour fluid. And I love the end, how you like apply it, you sort of do a few pumps under your eyes, perfect for puffy bags, which I have kind of frequently. Makeup beauty tricks on set of Riviera. This one saved my life. It was a pale yellow eyeliner inside the eye for those very early mornings. Sometimes we'd be on set at three or four a.m. So that came in handy for red eyes. And another beauty trick um, that I learned on set of Riviera is a peachy, bronzy eyeshadow. Um, Chanel do a really beautiful one. Can make my eyes look bluer. Who knew? This is a Kerastars, it's kind of like an oil, like a hair oil, very nourishing. Good for hair, especially when I'm working and a lot gets done to it. And this oil brings it back to life and it smells amazing. My favorite fragrance, it's by Valentino and it's called Voce Viva and it's very feminine and very floral and I started wearing it a few months ago and it's my now fave. What fragrance most reminds me of Riviera, it would have to be Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone London. It just reminds me of being by the sea, but also pine trees in that overwhelming heat. Oh, it takes me back, got butterflies. The dancing into the perfume thing, this was a little trick that I learned from my friends at Jo Malone, London, and yeah, instead of spraying it on directly, it was more of a spray it into the air and dance into it. I have a cleansing serum by Dr. Barbara Sturm. I love all of Dr. Barbara Sturm's products, but this calming serum has been really good for me, especially since I've been wearing a mask. I feel like my skin's been quite agitated. Um, and this calming serum has really helped with that. When I turned 30, it was probably the worst birthday present I could have ever received. I literally woke up one day with um, a face full of acne. It was actually just um, here on my cheeks and I did a lot of research into it and it turned out that it had something to do with uh, my tummy. So I just had to change up my diet. I started using the light salon frequently. I began a very strict sort of cleansing routine. Over time it got better, but the scars stayed around for a while and my confidence took a real knock actually. It's better now, but since that time, 
I've also become very aware about skin and, and I've just become much stricter with myself on how I take care of it and how I look after it. Products that make me feel charged and ready to work, ready to film. Uh, Rescue Remedy, don't know if that's a beauty product, <laughs> probably not. Um, but I always have Rescue Remedy with me everywhere I go. But I also love this brand called Neom, is how I pronounce it, but they have these beautiful essential oils and sometimes even a lavender or a chamomile, just a little rub of those oils on my wrists. And I sort of inhale them deeply, they kind of make me feel strong and awake, vibrant, ready to go. And lastly, I have my favorite red lipstick. It's called Crimson Flame Ruby and it's by Lancome. And I love how you open it up, but it's, it's kind of quite a poppy red with a kind of art deco design. Anyway, I live for red lipstick. The one thing that makes me feel made up instantly would have to be red lipstick. Put this in your handbag and you can be anywhere. You can literally walk out the gym and if you need to suddenly feel made up and get on a Zoom call, it seems like everyone's doing nowadays, a little bit of red lipstick, you're good to go. My lazy day makeup would probably be a little bit of concealer stick. Um, I think Bobbi Brown does a beautiful one. And just a little bit of Lucas Pore Pore Cream. Also, a great friend of mine, Jess Hart, brought out a makeup line called Luma. And they do these little pots, they're sort of creamy pots. And she has one particular one that's rosy pink. A little bit of that on the cheeks, you're good to go. My views on beauty as I've gotten older, they have definitely changed. I now feel less is more. Um, I think in my 20s, I was piling it on. One thing, I feel like every picture of me in my 20s, I'm always wearing like frosted eyeshadow. You know, a kid in the 90s and Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears and the Spice Girls, like Baby Spice. And I definitely had a lot of fun experimenting with makeup and hair. I had pink hair quite a lot of my teens. But makeup wise, yeah, I wish I, wish I didn't wear so much of it. But back then it was kind of cool. What have I learned about beauty and makeup during lockdown? I guess the power of it really. I had to read a bedtime story for an initiative I was doing with Save the Children called Save with Stories and I actually dried my hair with a hairdryer, brushed it and put makeup on and I suddenly felt like another person. I felt quite strong and elevated and powerful and it made such a huge difference. So yeah, that's what I learned, a good hair, and a good makeup moment can make you feel like a million dollars. <laughs>